In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the global state for our messages. Currently, we have in the dashboard. Uh, no, not this one. All right. So if we look at this admin category modal, um, we currently have our 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 error message and success message at the component state, right? Because we're using the um, we're using the use state React hook. All right, but we're going to make it globally available to us because, uh, with Redux. So let's go ahead and st start this process. Um, just a reminder, with Redux, it is there is a workflow that's very typical. I know, at least for me, this is the way I approach this most of the times. It's uh, doing uh, creating the contents, the reducers, and then the action, if there is an action. And then adding, finally adding that reducer to the combined reducer. All right. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's go ahead and and in the constants, we're going to create a new file. And we'll call this message reducer.js. Oh, let me rename that. Let me just add the, the S to it. Message reducers. Oh, well, let me <laughs> rename that again. Actually, it's message constants. Message constants dot JS. All right, so now that we have our constants available, um, let's go ahead and create those. There's going to be three constants. The first one is going to be export const. It's going to be called show success message. And that's going to be equal to the string of show success message. I'm going to copy this right here and paste it two times and just make adjustments. Uh, the next one is going to be show error message. Show error message. And then the final one is going to be clear messages. Clear messages all right so the consist is done with all right next one is reducers for the reducers we're going to create a new file and this one's going to be message reducers.js all right we're going to import from the constants and then message constants and we're we're gonna import those three constants that we created I'll show error message and then the final one was clear messages <clears throat> all right with the reducer we know uh, we know we have to, uh, we're gonna set up an initial state so initial state and that's equal to an object and there's gonna be two properties success message and error message so essentially we're making it the same uh, naming it the same as what we did here um, at the component state level all right so success message is gonna initially be a empty string and then equally so for the error message and then finally uh, we're going to set up our reducer so I'm gonna call it message reducer reducer and it takes two arguments the first argument is going to be the state which by default we're gonna set it to that initial state and then the second argument is going to be the action all right Within it, we're going to set up our switch statement, which is going to do a switch on the action type. And the first case we're going to test is show if we if there is a show success message, then we're going to return. We're going to spread out the state. And then do success message to whatever the action payload is that we get back. 
And just to, remind, uh, just to let you guys know, in case you're wondering what is this, why are we spreading out the state? It's because in Redux, Redux does not allow us, it, it, um, one of the rules of Redux is that you never directly want to mutate the state directly. Instead, we make a clone or a copy of that, um, of the state and where we spread out whatever's currently in the state and then thereafter we make uh the things that we do want to change we set up after spreading out the state so this is we spread out whatever is initially at the state here and then what i and then the thing that i do want to change is this property here all right so next thing is show error show error message and this one is going to be we're going to return we're going to spread out the state and then we're going to do error message equals to the action payload all right and then we're going to do the case of clear messages messages and that's going to be a returning uh, the, we're gonna uh, it's gonna be success message is going to be equal we're gonna reset it back to the empty string and the same with the error message and then let's go ahead and set up our default which returns date and export this export default uh, Export default message reducer. Message reducer is set. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and mark this thing off. Man. Don't save. Oh man, I deleted my my notes. All right, no problem. All right. So we created our constants, our message constants, and then reducer. So the next step here is we gotta create. We're gonna create an action. So within our Redux, we don't have a folder called actions. So let's go ahead and create a folder called actions. And within this folder, we're gonna create a file called message message actions .js. Okay, and we are going to import one constant and that is gonna be uh, clear messages. And that's coming from, let's see, we gotta go back one directory, go into constants and then message constants. And we're gonna do create a function here called clear messages, messages. And this is gonna take no, it's not gonna take in any argument. However, we're gonna this is gonna we're gonna do a dispatch here. And this might look weird if you're not used to it, but this is like a function called within another function. Okay, this is part of the ES6 syntax. Um, and let me see. If so this this whole thing here is the same as if I was to do this. If I was to do function, let's say clear messages clear messages all right and then within this function I'm going to return another function anonymous function with the argument of dispatch all right you see here the dispatch and that's right here all right so this is essentially this this right here is essentially the same thing as this all right so within this this action function we're going to call dispatch and this dispatch takes in an object with two properties uh, we get type and this is we're going to call it uh, the constant that we want clear messages and in a payload but in this case we don't need payload all right so now we have our action taken care of and then the final step is adding our reducer into our store which contains our combined reducers. So let's go ahead and gr grab our store.js file 
and we're going to import the reducer that we created which is a message reducer from reducers and then message reducers and we're going to add that right here we're going to call the property messages and it's going to be the value of our message reducer reducer and that is done we are done all right so that's it for that um we have our globe our message uh set up globally using redux see you in the next video